Are you a bride-to-be or know someone who is? Well, today's video is for you or for that person that you know. So be sure to share this with whomever you know that could be a bride-to-be. What I want to share with you today is some tips and advice on considerations to make when choosing your bridal party. When it comes to bridesmaids, there's many factors to consider. Do you have sisters? Do you have a future sister-in-law that you would like to stand up for you, beside you, and support you on your big day. And I think that's lovely. There's a good chance your sister or your sister-in-law will be in your life forever. So that could be a really good choice. But what about other people? Um, people that maybe aren't potentially gonna be in your life forever or you're really not sure. Now, if it's a cousin, uh, your family. So you probably will see them and have some type of relationship with them throughout your entire life. But when it comes to friends or people that you work with, things can be a little bit different. And I'm not here to say not to ask those people, not at all. I think it's fantastic when you have really close friends and they can support you on one of the biggest days of your life. I'm simply here to bring some awareness around things to consider when choosing the people that are going to be in your bridal party. One of the things that you have to understand, even if you're not there yet, because this you're in the early stages and you have not given a lot of thought to this. It is very expensive to be a bridesmaid, maid of honor, matron of honor, whatever you'd like to call it. It's very expensive. So when you ask someone to stand in your wedding, you are asking a lot. And I think it's really important for brides to understand that because once you understand that, it could dictate whether you're going to ask someone or not. It could make that decision for you. There is a huge financial obligation to stand up in your wedding. There's also time involved for everyone that's there. If you have friends that live out of town or out of state, or they would have to fly, I want you to think about all of the things that they would be coming home to. The way I look at it is your bridesmaids have a responsibility to attend your events leading up to the big day. So if you have showers, I would say they're expected to attend at least one of those showers. Are you going to have a bachelorette party? If you're going to have a bachelorette party, is it just a party? Is it an overnighter? Is it a weekend? Or is it a five to seven day trip? Because understand, when you ask someone to be in your wedding, you're asking a lot of their time and you're asking a lot of their money. So I want to walk through some of the responsibilities that the bridesmaid will have so that you can think about, hmm, would this person be, be a good candidate to honor those responsibilities and obligations because that could be the deciding factor. Let's first start with expense. Now again, if they're going to come in for your shower, if there's a bachelorette party, you're looking at them spending money on you as a gift. If they are going to purchase any new attire, they're gonna have that expense. If they need to travel, they're going to have that expense, okay? so. If we're talking about one shower, okay, that's one bachelorette party, but if that bachelorette party is much more grand, it's gonna be more of an expense. If there's a trip involved, there's going to be the expense of that trip. Then we're going to have the rehearsal dinner. There's still gonna be cost associated with that. And then there's also gonna be the cost of the day of. We have got dresses. We have got undergarments, we have shoes, we have accessories, we have hair, we have makeup. Let me also just back up and add, if, if your bridesmaids are throwing your bachelorette party or weekend or overnighter or trip, they're going to have a major expense there. So if you have big expectations, that's going to dictate who you ask because it's asking a lot when someone is asked to be in your wedding. You are asking a lot, so you want to think about that. So all of the expenses. Then we have time. How much time are these ladies gonna have to take off from work or away from their family for everything to do with your special day? 
okay? And I'm not, I, I don't take this negatively. It's just the reality, and it's something that brides don't think about. Bridesmaids don't either. I'll have a whole separate and special video for bridesmaids. In fact, I just shared on this on Instagram stories because I was working with a client who was debating on whether or not to say yes to being a maid of honor at someone's wedding. But you want to also consider, what do I see this from this relationship? Is this relationship just for here and now in this season? Maybe you're fresh out of college and this was your college roommate and right now they're very important in your life but if you don't see someone that you're considering asking to be in your wedding if you don't see them being in your life for the long haul 10 years 15 years like a lifetime consider that before asking because if this is just a season and that's okay, a lot of our relationships simply are a season of time. And you'll find this out once you marry and if you choose to have children, you'll find out that you have friendships that are parents that have children that play sports or do things with your children, but it's just a season of friendship. It's not forever. So really identify if this person's gonna be in your life forever. Again, if it's a sister or a sister-in-law, that's easy, or even a cousin. But anyone who is not related to you, again, coworkers, high school friends, college friends, really consider where do I see this relationship going? It's okay for them to simply be a guest. It's okay to not ask them because when you ask them, you're asking a lot. You're asking a lot financially, you're asking a lot of time, and you have to know what your expectations are because if you're gonna be let down and have bitter and resentment because someone cannot honor all the wishes you have because maybe they can't afford it or they can't take that time off. Well, I have to say to the bride to be, shame on you, you didn't think about this ahead of time. So we have the bride who has to do a lot of processing and thinking and the bridesmaids as well. But I want to talk to them separately, but it's gonna be very similar to this. So important and so often overlooked so often overlooked. Do you have someone you're considering that is in the process of moving and maybe saving money for a home? You know, again, you're asking for a huge financial responsibility and obligation for them to stand up for you, okay? What about if someone, one of your friends, is trying to get pregnant and they could easily be expecting a baby? The worst thing that could happen is Baby's due date is right by the wedding date and they can't make it. Now what are you going to do? So it's, it's, I know it's exciting to do something really special when you ask all of your bridesmaids to be a bridesmaid. It's fun to do something special, open up a box, get a cookie. There's all sorts of little bougie things that people do and I love that. That's great. That's awesome. My girls did it as well. But if you're on the fence about anyone because you don't know if it's really going to work for them financially or timing, I would say before doing that special event of asking your bridesmaids, maybe talk to that person personally one-on-one -on -one. because she is going to be put on the spot when you have everyone, when you all go out to dinner and then they all, you put a box out and they all open a box and in there is something saying, will you be my bridesmaid? She's going to be on, they're going to be put on the spot. So if there's anyone that you're just, you'd love for her to stand in your wedding, but you know, she could, I know they're trying to get pregnant and what if she's expecting and she may not, not want to do this. I would say, pull her aside ahead of time and ask her. She still is gonna be a part of that gathering. You'll just tell her, play it off when you're there. Although you know I'm gonna ask, just play it off. I would say it's better to do that to cover yourself than to drop the bomb on someone because it's really hard in the moment. And I would advise all of, all of the, the people that you're asking at that gathering, of course they're gonna be excited. No one's gonna decline the offer, but I'm encouraging these, these women, these girls to, to if, they, if after the whole shebang of being asked and putting on the, the happy face, think about what you're saying yes to, and you may want to reach out to the bride so that they would have time to fill that spot, right? So these are things that mama didn't tell you, but Coach Tracy is here to tell you because it's so important. It's a life skill. 
It's, I know it's an exciting time and congratulations to you. I know it's exciting. I don't want you to be let down. I don't want bitter and resentment. I don't want hard feelings with anyone. And so often it happens and it's because the communication didn't take place up front and the bride didn't think about all these things. Same with the bridesmaid. If I could go back, looking back now at some of the weddings that I was in, I probably would decline them today, knowing, especially in this day and age, how expensive it is and how much time it takes because I no longer see some of these people too. So they weren't even lifelong friendships. They were a season, okay? Being in your college, one of your friends from college's wedding, but then she went her way and you went your way and she got married and, 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 and yeah, we follow each other on Facebook and that's it. So really think about this. And I love smaller weddings and smaller, smaller parties. Think about your pictures. If you have this huge bridal party, you barely see the bride and groom in the pictures. So I love the photos when it's just a few on each side, maybe even just a couple. I love that, I love that. So lots to consider. I know that this is gonna hit someone. Please share this video with anyone that you are suspecting could be getting engaged soon or just recently got engaged, this is really, we wanna get the word out so that we can be stronger and smarter women and, and make it a, a successful wedding day for everyone involved. So thanks for joining me. Let me know any comments, any suggestions, any faux pas that you've ever heard of that have to do with brides or bridesmaids. Would love to hear them. I always enjoy reading the comments. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you right here on YouTube very, very soon. Take care.